from what I want to say. It's be my own. Fall and dead are my beloved ones and I never hear anything from them through any voice. My business on earth is over. I went to work full of will, glad about it, and not made the world a penny richer. Inglorious and lonely I return, and wander through my fatherland, which lies far around like a garden of death. And perhaps the knife of the hunter waits me, who holds us Greeks like a game of the forest for the pleasure. But you still shine, son of heaven. You are still green, holy earth. The streams still rush into the sea, and shady trees whisper at noon. The joyful song of spring sings my mortal thoughts to sleep. The abundance of the all living world nourishes and saturate my starving being with drunkenness. Oh, blessed nature, I don't know what happens to me when I lift up my eye to your beauty, but all the light of heaven is in the tears that I cry before you, the loved one before the beloved. My whole being falls silent and listens when the gentle wave of air plays around my chest. Lost into vast blue, I often look up at the ether and into the holy sea. And I feel as if a kindred spirit opens his arms, as if the pain of loneliness dissolves into the life of the God. To be one with all. That is the life of the Godhead. That is the heaven of man. To be one with everything that lives. To return to the universe of nature in blissful self-forgetfulness. That is the summit of thoughts and joys. That is the holy mountain height, the place of eternal rest where midday loses its sultriness and thunder its voice, and the boiling sea is like the wave of the cornfield. To be one with everything that lives. With this word, 
virtue puts away the angry armor and spirit of man the scepter and all faults vanish before the image of the eternal world like the rules of a wrestling artist before his arania and that all fate renounces domination and that disappears from the bond of beings and inseparability and eternal youth blessed beautify the world Oh, man is a god when he dreams, a beggar when he speculates. And when the enthusiasm is gone, he stands there like a failed son whom the father pushed out of the house and looks at the humble pennies that gave him pity on the way.